All right, today we're going to continue our discussion on long division, and specifically we're going to be looking at problems with decimal remainders. And when I say decimal remainders, that's probably a bit of a misnomer, which just means that probably isn't the best way of saying that. And hopefully by the end here, you'll be able to tell me why that is. So the question we're going to look at is, how can I use decimals to find more precise quotients? Well, hopefully this example will be able to kind of show us how to do that. So let's take here, we have $654, and we're going to want to divide that up eight ways. So we'll rewrite this problem here, 654 divided by 8. And what we want to focus on this time is we're going to take that remainder and we're going to divide it up. And the way we're going to do that is by using decimals, and we'll take a look at how we can do that here. So let's jump in. Uh, first step is going to be to divide. 8 does not go into 6, but it goes into 65 8 times. Multiply down, 8 times 8 is going to give us 64. We're going to subtract and compare 64 from 65. Going to give us 1, and 1 is less than 8, so we can continue on. Go ahead and bring down that 4. We have 14. 8 goes into 14 one time. Multiply that down. 1 times 8 is going to give us 8. Then we'll subtract and compare once again. 14 minus 8 is going to give us 6. And 6 is less than 8, so we're still in good shape. Now, from the last lesson, we looked at whole number remainders and then um, writing remainders as fractions. And at this point, if we were going to do it that way, we would be done. We'd go ahead and bring this 6 up. That would be our remainder. We'd say 81 remainder 6, or we would say 81 and 6 eighths. But this time, what we're going to do is we're going to take that a step further, and we're going to break that remainder down, and we're going to use decimals to do that. So what we need to do here is we need to adjust this dividend, 654, in a way that doesn't change the value of that number. So what we can do, we're going to go ahead and add a decimal point, and we're going to add a zero. Now, it's very important that you understand here, we have not changed the value. This is perfectly legal. Uh, in fact, we can continue adding zeros um, on and on and on here as long as it takes. Um, and it's not going to change the value of that 654. But what it does do is it's going to allow us to continue our loop here and finish this problem off. Now, before we go ahead and continue with the problem, what we need to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to bring up this decimal point right here, and we're going to shoot that up into the quotient so we don't forget to do that later on. And now, you know, you can see here, it allows us to just continue the problem and, and bring down that zero. So we're going to do that. We get 60. And then we continue. Go ahead and divide 8 into 60. That's going to go 7 times. Multiply it down. 8 times 7 will give us 56. And we'll do a little bit of regrouping here. Borrow from that 6, bring over 10. And we'll subtract, and we get 4. Next step, go ahead again, add a 0, and bring it down. Gives us 40. 8 into 40 is going to go 5 times, multiply down, and this is going to work out nice and evenly here. 5 times 8 is going to give us 40. We subtract, and we get 0, and that is how you know that you are done. Uh, once you go ahead and subtract and get 0, um, that is the end of the problem. So we have 654 divided by 8 is going to give us 81 and 75 hundredths. So if we go back to the last lesson here, again, this is where the problem would have stopped. And we could have written this remainder uh, two different ways. We could have gone with the whole number remainder and said 81 remainder 6. Or we could have written it as a fraction and said 81 and 6 eighths. And this is what that would look like in the real world. Everybody would get $81. But there would be $6 left over. And the question then is, what do you do with that $6? Um, you know, if you need to be more precise and you need to take this $6 and, and divide it up uh, and give it out to everyone, you can't really do that with whole number remainders or with fractions. It's just kind of sitting there as something that is left over. But what decimals do 
is they allow us to go ahead and divide that remainder up into smaller units. As you can see here, everyone is going to end up with $81.75, and there would be nothing left over if you did it like this. So the big idea here, uh, decimals can divide the remainder up, making our quotient more precise. So that's all for this episode. Thanks for joining us. Uh, next time, we're going to go ahead and look at some bigger numbers. So we're going to get into uh, double-digit divisors. So hopefully you can tune in for that one. Take care. We'll see you next time.